Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton wrapping up the Big Rig Tournament. This will be hole number 16, 17, and 18. So stay tuned as I was able to drop 16 and 17 uh, pretty consistently in hole 18. I'm a little confused on maybe the community can help me out here as y'all been helping each other out all tournament. This one here is a little bit trickier, but we can still get down there. We're going to go full top, two bars a side spin to the right. Extra mile level nine players, you'll have a much better job or much, much easier opportunity getting down there than the extra mile eight players. We can still even make it with the headwind crosswind angle, 0% at max. Going to go max OP, one full, I mean, full curl to the right. I even hit a great ball to the left here and still made it. Now you're going to notice that the great ball to the left is really, really close to going into the sand probably as close as you can get almost and it just grazes the edge of the sand trap there and obviously we're right here in front of the fringe giving me a nice little opportunity to chip in for eagle i went ahead and kept the one bar side spin to the right on this shot we are getting a crosswind angle so i did pull it 20 percent at mid just fast forward here you see we get a ball into the hole for an eagle Hole number 17 going to be a par 3. Now we're going to talk about it. I'm going to let the graphics sit here so you can read. We're going to go no moving target. Okay. So I want to thank everybody in the comments that had given me the suggestion on hole number 8 on the front 9. Looks like the no moving target is really working for people. So I figured let's give it a shot. And it is money. No moving target. Spin to hole. So don't move your adjustment zone at all. Just start to spin the ball into the hole. Pull one to one. If you have high wind, aim left side. And then see video number two, which I have right, obviously right after this. So here we go. We're just going to spin into the hole. And then we're going to go one to one. So that means we're going to 2.7 mile per hour wind, 2.7 ring pull, which you're going to see right here. I went ahead and pulled over the bullseye on this shot. but you'll see perfect ball goes into the hole. Now the second video is higher wind. I think it's 3.7, so it's a full mile per hour higher than this one. But you see that one drop in there real nicely for the hole in one. Notice here that it's gonna be the same thing with the no moving target. Oh, 3.9, so even higher. So no moving target again, spin to hole, but I decided to go ahead and just aim at left-hand side of the cup. It is easier to see if you zoom in um, on the course when you get started. But notice there, ball guideline going right to the left-hand side of the cup. Same thing, 3.9 mile per hour. We're going to go 3.9 ring pull. And this one I didn't even pull over the bullseye. I just did a standard 3.9, and it went into the hole as well. Now, that's good when that happens, so... This is a good sign that a lot of people should be able to drop this hole right here. But you see that higher wind push actually put us right into the center of the cup, hitting the pin, dropping it in there. Hole number nine, headwind, we're gonna go um, kingmaker. We're gonna go extra mile sniper. We're gonna go three bars of side spin to the left. And you're gonna notice here the back spin that I'm using, okay? Two back, three left, plus nine yard mark right there on the rough line, uh, half my yellow on the rough, half my yellow on the fairway. Here, you should use a little bit of OP. Um, I'm trying to use just a little click of OP here. Perfect ball, lots of left curl. All we're trying to do is get right there and then bounce through here and land on the fairway. As long as we land on the fairway, we are gonna have the opportunity for the albatross on shot number two. This is where I need help because I am lost on shot number two. Um, now, I'll be honest, though, I've only, I'm only practicing this hole one time, then I'm hopping into real mode. Uh, I'm not sure why my ball keeps kicking to the left-hand side here and doesn't even come close. I hit a great ball at the end of the day on this replay, but even in practice mode, when I hit perfect, it was the same result. Uh, this ball's coming in way, way to the left-hand side of the cup. So regardless, everybody, that's holes number 16, 17, and 18. It's been a very long day. Uh, I'm glad to have this thing wrapped up. Uh, look at this. This is like a double great right, and I still come in way to the left-hand side of the cup. So uh, I need some help here. I need some suggestions. I know Adam said he's going to send me over a couple shots he's been working on, but this thing misses just by, by way too far. 
but hopefully you get a great finish and you go minus six on the last three holes like I did here. Please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up. I'll see you Saturday for the finals, hopefully.